Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I just recently took a couple weeks off. I went on vacation and I decided to take off time on social media. So where did I go? I went to Tennessee. I went to, uh, there we go. I went to Tennessee and I went to Nail Tech Event of the Smokies. So this is part two of the video. Part one, which already is up in my vlog, my trip and me walking around, nail tech vent of the Smokies and buying everything that's in front of me. Uh, I have more stuff on my desk. I have a lot of stuff. Well, some stuff I won. I have a giant VIP bag, a birthday present and a door prize. So let me turn my camera around and let me show you everything that I got. So just to let everyone know, this is everything that was just in front of me. This is everything that I purchased, my VIP bag, my door prize, and my birthday present all on this table. So I'm gonna put my camera up on the stand and let's get started. So let's get started with this giant VIP bag. Everything here came in my VIP bag. There are a couple things from originally from this bag that are not in here. Me and a couple nail techs decided to exchange some things. So some things I don't have and some things I have extras of. So let's go through everything. So from famous names, we have three bottles of Sinitize and one bottle of the Daddy Lip Balm. From Poto Safe, we have a cuticle softener. From Simply on Vogue, we have their white gel paint. From Evolution, we have the brush on sculpting gel. Let's see. And this is in a nice, like, peachy color, if you can see that. From Artiste by from Artiste by Bio Seaweed Gel. This, from reading the instructions, looks like it is a blooming gel, so I'll be excited to try that. I got these foot, what is it? It looks like these are those little like booty socks for like an at-home pedicure. I have a whole bunch of samples from J Wall. And this is all pedicure. These are all pedicure products. So I have a whole slew of those to try out. Also in the line of pedicure stuff, I have two full size bottles of Foot Logics products. And what I got was the DD cream and the daily maintenance formula. So I just have to read up. I've never used Foot Logics, but I just have to read up and see what these are so I can try them out. From Light Elegance, we oh my god, I can't. From Light Elegance, we all got these little kits. We have a Jimmy Gel Grade A Buttercream P Plus, as well as a Sand Man Tan Color Gel and a Snow Cone Glitter Gel. We have a hundred count of the purple sanders from Profiles Backstage in Medium. And I do already use these, which is good because I needed more sanding bands. From Soft Landings, we got these really nice disposable towels and these are and wipes and these are all lint free. I do have some. I haven't tried them yet, but I can't wait to try them. We have some Nourish Nail, nail Strengthener and Conditioner. I have some 
foils. We got a pen. Oh my God, I can't. We got a cuticle pusher. We got a no wipe top coat. We have a nail polish, more cuticle oil. We have a starter kit from Mia Secret. We have two little samples of stuff from LCN. One is the Bio Glass Gel and the other one is the Ultra Shine Top Coat, as well as a whole little sample of stuff from So Jelly. So that was everything that was in my VIP bag. So let's start off with what everyone's waiting for what I purchased. In no particular order, before I get into what I purchased, I am gonna get into my door prize and my birthday present. For anyone that doesn't know, my birthday was the day of the show, July 10th. So I did get a birthday present and all of this glitter is from Madison at Southerly Sweet Nails. And all of this is the new collection of the Mylar glitter gels. And I just want to show you how gorgeous these are. I mean, look. Look at those colors. These are really, really cool. And one nice thing about Mylar is that even though we have different colors, they will look different on any color you put them on. And also from Madison, I know some people might be a little jelly, but Madison found me, Anyone knows Light Elegance, they know Diamond Glitter Gel is discontinued. Madison found me a pot of Diamond Glitter Gel. Let me just show you what this looks like. On this is that Diamond Glitter Gel. How gorgeous is that? So from my door prize, this is everything I got. I got a whole bunch of stuff from Lucaside. Jawal and from Balava, I got these bowls with disposable liners for manicures or if I'm, I believe you can also use this for soaking off acrylic, but I'd have to double check. I got a whole package of foot soak and I got a container of leukocyte wipes as well as the disinfectant and I got two ready to use cleaners in thyme and in lemon. So now we're on to the fun stuff. Now we're on to everything that I purchased and I'm still gonna go in no particular order. So in no particular order, in no particular order, I'm just gonna randomly grab bags and I'm gonna go through this as quick as I can. This is from Center for Beauty. She sells nail supplies pedicure products, um, autoclaves, ultrasonic cleaners, everything that I buy, I will be listing down below as well as their websites too. So from CJ at Center for Beauty, I got this disinfectant tray. So this is the tray here take the lid off okay, so this is what it looks like and you can take the lid off you have the tray on the inside and then you have the liner on the bottom so instead of using one of the plastic containers i see a lot of people use i've used those before and i find those a little small so I wanted to try this and it's nice and stainless steel and it has like a nice weight to it. Let's see what's there and if you filled out a little survey and you got to talk to them for a few minutes, 
um, and they were telling you about their booking app and everything. They did give you a little bag of stuff. So let me see what I got. Okay, so in the bag from Booksy from ASP, you have the crystal nail file and you have a whole bottle of Cuccio cuticle oil. And this is in the milk and honey scent. Let me see what this. It smells really good. You have a whole a nice giant bottle of cuticle oil. I mean, can we just, yeah, that's just how big that cuticle oil is. That'll last someone like a lifetime. So all of this stuff next is from Nail Flight USA. And some of the products that they were selling was from Clear Jelly Stamper. So I got to stock up on some of the stuff that I wanted. So I got a backup bottle of the white and the black stamping polish from Clear Jelly Stamper, as well as a black hollow stamping plate cover. And this book holds any of the large stamping plates right here. Also got the Vintage Wonderland polish right here. And it looks like there's a teal, pink, purple, and a silver or a rose gold. And I also bought three new stamping plates. So this one is CJS 51. And this is what it looks like. And this is the back. I will put the names of the stamping plates right on the screen for you. We also have CJS LC 56. And this is a nice like fall one with the sunflowers, pumpkins, you got some plaid, you got the little scarecrows on there. And this, I've been wanting this one for a while. I've been wanting this one for a while now. So basically you can like build your own scarecrow. You have sunflowers, pumpkins, more plaid. And, and then this one is CJSV13 and this looks like a cute little like Victorian lace plate and I've been really into lace patterns and everything lately so I cannot wait to use this. These next two bags are from Polished Pinkies Pro and they were selling stuff from Clear Jelly Stamper as well as Magpie Beauty so let me show you what I got. From Clear Jelly Stamper, I got two rolls of nail forms. I know you're probably thinking that's a lot, but these are their pro. These are the premium or the pro, I will put the right name on here of their forms. Ugly Duckling has three types of forms. They have the short salon ones, the premium ones, and the easy and these bad boys which these are the extreme forms so I recently just used these on a client and I'm gonna pop a little video or picture in the corner so you guys can see what they look like these forms I will say I tried these last night on a client and I these are probably one of my new favorite forms these are really thick and they hold the shape extremely well. Both packs of these is a 500 count. I mean, you could see here, like these forms are gonna last me a lifetime. Um, I've also been, I got these, the Z Extreme forms. Um, these are what they look like. And these look like they're nice and thick just like the premium ones here. I got these, um, no, I'm not gonna be doing extreme shapes on my clients. Every once in a while, I do like to push myself out of my comfort zone and try something new. And I will do it, if I try any new shapes or anything, I will try it on myself. And I do really like 
extreme shapes and everything. So I got these forms so that way, you know, if I wanna try something new, I got these. And also from Paula's Pinkies Pro, they had stuff from Magpie Beauty. So from Magpie Beauty, I got these art stickers, which this is, you know, like the evil eye and everything. And I know a couple of my clients that like that witchy nail art stuff, they are definitely going to love this. I got two glitters, one in Elsa. And this is what Elsa looks like. I will pull up a swatch of these on the screen. And this is Margot. This is a really nice like purple, purple color. And if anyone knows me, they know I love purple. And I got two chrome flakes. This one is called Riley, which is a nice like orange copper color. And of course I got another purple and this one is called Bobby. This next bunch of products I got from Erica's ATA. Now, if you stuck with me the whole way, you're gonna notice that this is all Luca side. I did not know I was going to win a door prize. So now I have so much Luca side products is going to last me a freaking lifetime, which I'm not complaining about. So this is a bigger bottle of this one here and they are the same thing. So Luca side has this one that you have to mix up or they have the ready to use disinfectant this is the one that you mix up i know a lot of nail techs like using leukocide and they freaking swear by it so i'm gonna try this i'm currently using barbicide but i want to try the leukocide to see which one i like better i also got some new bits so this is the this is the trio dry mani kit is right here and I'm gonna pop the names up on the screen going this way so you can you know what name is for each one I don't remember the names off the bat but I will pop them on the screen for the diamond bits you also have the finesse dry mani kit and these are the bits all of these okay. So between, between both of these kits, you're gonna see that these have a blue band and these, this one has a yellow. The blue band is, was it medium? The blue band is a medium and the yellow one is an extra fine. So if I zoom this in, you're gonna be able to see how the difference between this bit and this bit. You can see how much smoother this one is than these two right here. And this is the polisher bit. And I love using this at the end of a service. Just, this is one of my favorite bits. I also got two more of the adjustable mandrels. And that is this one right here also. If anyone hasn't used these. If anyone hasn't used the adjustable mandrel from Erica's ATA, let me just show you how easy it is. So first you're gonna untwist this. And these are little O-rings, which Erica does sell extra on her website if you ever need more. Take your sanding band. You're gonna pop that on. And you're gonna notice that the bottom part is gonna be left. So if you push it all the way down, then the top part is gonna be open. So I keep the sanding band on the top. You're gonna squeeze this part right here and just use that to close the sanding band on the mandrel. And then when you pull, it's not gonna come off. 
and I keep that tiny teeny little like lip on the inside so that is how I keep the sanding man on the adjustable mandrel because as we know sometimes sanding bands and mandrels like we have a love-hate relationship so this is nice and easy to work with I also bought the uh-oh carbide bit and this is really tiny it will help get into low those like hard to reach spots if you get any like acrylic or gel on by the cuticle or the side walls you can use this to clean that up I bought another gel X bit this is probably one of my favorite bits from Erica's and I like to use this to remove any like color or glitter on top and it just each through the product really, really nice. And the last bit I bought from Erica's is the Smooth Top Barrel in Medium. And this is what the bit looks like. It has a nice like smooth top here and it's not, you know, if you get close to the skin, you're not gonna, you know, cut your client. So next I got a whole load of products from famous names. So let's open it up. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I was, I had a VIP ticket and I really wanted one of those 32 ounce bottles of the Daddy lotion because I really love it. But the time I got to the table within the matter of like 10 minutes, the 32 ounce bottles were already sold out. So I bought two of the eight ounce bottles of Daddy lotion. And if you haven't used this lotion, this is probably one of my favorite lotions. I cannot say enough of good name, good stuff about famous names. You just have to try it if you haven't tried it. So I got two of these. I got more of my IBX and repair and strength. And if you haven't tried this, give this a try. Um, famous names does have certifications for their IBX. You can get IBX certified, which my certification is right on the wall. I use the Strengthen underneath all of my sets and I wear hard gel. Um, if you have a client that really just doesn't want anything on their nails, um, say if you have like a nurse or a doctor, my um, any client, whether it's male or female, and they just want something a little extra on their nails with the dry manicure, try some Strength and see how they like it. For retail, I got a big, huge 12 pack of the beautiful oil. So let me open this up and show you. This goes right in here and it's their retail. And this is the, was it the half ounce? Yep, this is the 0.5 ounce of the Daddy Oil, which I'm obsessed with this. So I got a nice 12 pack of this. Also speaking of Daddy Oil, they had a show special and this was one of the show specials. So I got for so much money, I got a big 2.2 ounce of daddy oil. I got a daddy scrub and I also got a daddy lip balm. And let me show you how like big this daddy oil is. And this is the one I'm gonna use on my clients. And this is how big the daddy oil is. And I love this stuff. So I love this stuff. You can use this for so many things other than using it for cuticle oil. I'm gonna list everything on the screen that you can actually use this with. And last but not least, with famous names, I got the iMix. Show ya. 
right here. So you have With the eye mix. You have your eye mix here. You have your USB cable, your instructions. You have a wand and these little teeny mixers which attach this way. So initially when you get this, you only get two, four, six, eight, ten. You only get 10 of these little beads. I went and I got an extra like 50 pack. And you can use these not only on gel polish, you can also use these with potted gel. I also got this. So that is everything I got from Famous Name. Also, while I was there, there was a nail tech named Paula Davis, and this is her book, All That Glitters. It's so much cool stuff in here. Talk about, let me see, here it goes right here, table content. So it talks about like a little bit of everything in the industry. It was really cute that she was also like personally signing every single copy. So I can't, you know, I like my off time. I cannot wait to just, you know, sit outside on my porch and give this a read. Smile. Last but not least, this is going to be hard. I can't fit everything in camera. I got a whole bag of stuff from Light Elegance, so let me unbag it. Let's just start from here. So I got a package of Polish Fan Deck which is the swatch sticks that Light Elegance uses. And when they're all swatched up, this is what they look like. So when I use, when I swatch these, I swatch underneath my swatch sticks in the bottom. When you take these out of the package, they're gonna look like this. And they have that little like, you can see it, that little like dip on the inside here. So that is where I swatch everything on the bottom. And then, so the top will automatically have a shiny coat. And then the underneath, I do a matte top coat. So my clients can see if they like the color of the glitter gel shiny or matte. I got two package of the Pro Cleansing Wipes. If no one has tried these, give these a try. When they say they're 100% lint free, these are a hundred percent lint free. These are a must. I also bought a package of the finish files in the 180 to 20 because I was out of those. When I tell you I was out of some of my staple products from Light Elegance, I was out of my staple products and this was one of them. I was also out of these. These are two packs of the foamies and I had a client um, the night before I'm shooting this and I literally opened the package and took one out because I was literally out of these bad boys. And these are the perfect files. So these are like my three staples from my elegance. The finished files, perfect files, and the foamies. So next to me, I got a new LED dot lamp. I only have one next to me. Um, this LED dot lamp is the Gen 3. In this one, they did change it to only LED. The other LED dot I have is UV and LED. And this one, they switched to only LED. This is a 36 watt, 400 nanometer and 16 emitters um so let me show you the one that's out on my desk and show you what it looks like and this is the new le dot gen 3 and this is the i want to say the gen 2 this is the combo of the uv and led and this one is only led so when you take this off you're going to have this plastic coating here that you're going to peel off and everything is a reflective base and there's, there's definitely less lights. I think it's because it's only LED, okay. So 
the bottoms of the both of the bases are completely the same. You have those little like finger spots. So when your clients put their hand in the lamp, I mean, I have longer nails, but the, you know where, you can show them where to put their hands. And then this is where it's different. So this is the one that I use all the time. And you can see these little dots here are the light emitting diodes. And this is, um, this is a dual wavelength on this one versus the new one, the Gen 3. It's not a dual wavelength anymore, but you can see the, they have, it has less lights. This one, you can see, this has less lights than this one. So I will see how this is going to cure everything. So from Light Elegance, I got a big bottle of the Light Elegance Pro Cleanser and my, one of my main reasons for buying from them is I was low on a bunch of the Lexiline gels. So this is natural fiber and I'm gonna pull up what it looks like next to me. I have Baby Pink Extreme. I also have Cool Gel. I have Builder. And I also have One Step. And last from my elegance is I got the Summer Buttercream Collection. I will have a whole separate um, review video with opening these up and doing a color comparison so watch out thank you for watching everyone as i said that was a very large unbagging unboxing say unbagging that was a very large unbagging from nail tech and the smokies and i hope you guys liked everything as i said i'm gonna have a whole separate review and comparison video on the summer buttercream collection i didn't have one out sooner because i was waiting to get this at the show before I decided to do the video. Um, I needed a lot of staples. So I know there's not a lot of like gel polishes and glitter gels and all of that. I basically went to the show to fill up on all my staples that I was either low on or I was honestly completely out. And sometimes that's the best time to get all of this stuff. So I hope you like everything. Let me know what was your favorite stuff. Let me know some of your favorite products I bought in the comments. And if you were there, let me know that you were there. And I did meet so many new people that recognized me not only from my Instagram, but from TikTok and here. And I'm excited to go back for next year. So I hope you enjoyed everything. Bye.